What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite Auntie Mo, and we are back again for another episode review of Tokyo Tony's Finding Love ASAP. This is season one, episode three. I don't know the name of it. <laughs> we don't care what the name of it is. We only care about what the hell happened in the episode, right, y'all? Okay. A um, couple of real quick church announcements before we get into the review. If you have not done so just yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It don't cost you a dime. You ain't got much to do. Also, before you leave, let me know what you think about this video. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and then make sure that your notifications are turned on so you will know whenever I upload new content. Um, also, if you are not following me on my social medias, please do so. They will be down um, in the description box below. I wanted to say thank y'all so much for the kind words and the prayers that y'all have been giving me on the last video. I mentioned that I'm not feeling well, and today is no different, but I am feeling well enough that I have a little bit of Moscato with some grapes in it. Mm -hmm. Not much, just a little bit, because I was tired of drinking hot tea. I ain't gonna lie, I'm tired of drinking tea with chamomile. Uh, chamomile tea, I mean, with honey and lemon and all that stuff and soup and crackers. I'm tired of it. I am not 100%, but I am well enough today. You know, I still was able to do something to my face. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but thank y'all so much for the prayers and just the kind words y'all have been giving me. I really do appreciate that. Um, and I want to apologize for bringing this video to you guys late. Today is my niece's birthday. Shout out to my niece out there. Um, I know with YouTube's new rules, I ain't gonna say nothing else about it because she is, you know, a little person. So, happy birthday to my baby girl out there. So, that's why you guys are getting this video late. But, even all the same, y'all, the ratchetry, which is Tokyo Tony, uh, the shit just don't get no better than this. It don't get no better than this. It don't. Y'all, of all the ratchet shit I done seen on TV, this has got to be one of the most ratchet shits out there. So hopefully y'all are ready for this review because I'm ready to give it to you. So let's go ahead and get right on up into it. All right, y'all. So we have Tonio and Lyrica. They're talking about what happened the night before. Now, this is the morning after she made her eliminations. I believe she got rid of one gentleman. And um, her and Lyrica just talking about the BS that happened the night before. Um, if you don't remember, there was a fight that ensued between, um, I believe it was inmate 14823 and Big D and Little D, as well as Cookie Monster. And it all started from inmate 14823, basically saying that he respects and he, he, doesn't, he didn't say he support Trump's. He said that he respects Trump because Trump signed a bill for him to get out of prison early. Um, if you don't remember what went on, um, I got a little clip for you guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying out something new. So take a look at this clip, and it kind of summarizes what happened at the elimination, well, right before the elimination night before. Okay, talk to me. Trump's the reason why I'm here right now. That's who let me out. So that's my man. Praising Trump for letting him out of prison. I'm like, what the fuck? I ain't saying Trump I agree with the man's as views. Far as he what? runs the country well, very well. Best that we've ever had as a president. Trump is out here cleaning up everybody else's mess. Cleaning up everybody else's mess. Wait, 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 hold up. Everybody, everybody else's else. mess. Let me everybody else's mess. All of a sudden, he's getting intense and intense, and I don't know this motherfucker. You already know. Look, Obama was All the best thing to happen to this country, man. The mess that Obama made. I got pissed off. Oh, Obama, my man. man. Bro, I'm out. You better get your man, man. Oh, about to check Cookie Monster. Ain't gonna be none of that motherfucker. These motherfuckers start fighting. Wait a minute. 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 These old man was ready to knock if you buck. <laughs> Pop their whole goddamn hip out. <laughs> Over misunderstanding. Once again. Tonio and like I said, Lyrica, they just talking about all the crap that happened. And Tonio ain't feeling none of these dudes, which is very understandable because they none of them her type. Like I said, over half these dudes are actors. I refuse to believe that they feeling her like that. They look like they're there for the paycheck. They there to see how they can get put on in any other ways, but they not feeling her like that, right? 
So, apparently, Tonio has a book that she wrote. It's supposed to be some sensual, like, sex capades. And I can definitely see that from her because she nasty like that. Nasty, nasty, nasty. So, she wrote a book about it. Like, the head, head, go. <laughs> so, she's, um, her and Lyrica talk about her book. And so, Lyrica comes up with the idea. She wants to test these guys' intellect by having a spelling bee. To see how much these men know. Now, even I'm thinking, hell, I'm 39. I'm a year away from 40. And I will admit, I'm a very intelligent woman. But, you know, what is we doing having a spelling bee? Zeus, we ain't got nothing else to do. Y'all can't do a credit report game or something. Y'all gonna do a spelling bee. Okay, but you know what I'm saying? You know, I, I'm here for it, obviously. I'm paying my $3.99 a month. So, uh... We're going to get the spelling bee thing cracking or whatever, right? So before Lyrica leaves to go tell the guys that they're going to do a spelling bee child, Lyrica gets up and walks away. Tonio. <sighs> Tonio's telling Lyrica, gee, ooh, that ass sitting fat. That ass look nice, Lyrica. Ooh, I was like, no, ma'am, no, have no ma'am, don't spam. I do not like green eggs and ham. She's still trying to get at Lyrica. Y'all, I'm not here for it. I'm not. I'm not here for it. So next up, y'all, we got inmate 14823 and we got Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster is getting on inmate 14823's fucking nerves. This fool got some sun-dried watermelon slices or something he's trying to give to him. I don't know, but it's getting on his damn nerves. So... Cookie Monster, once again, now remind you who Cookie Monster is. He's the old white guy that came with these fresh made cookies that he made for him in a fucking tub, y'all. Anyways, so they start talking about, again, what happened the night before. Now, inmate 14823 was trying to tell Cookie Monster, look here, let you know, I was not saying that I was in support of Trump. I was just basically saying he signed a bill that helped me get out of prison early. I was supposed to do 20 years. I only did 15, 16 years. So I respect him out of that. I ain't saying that's my nigga. We can go kick it down like four flats, nothing like that. But I am saying that I respect the dude because he did this to me. Cookie Monster's so old, and he can't listen. He don't listen. So he not listening to nothing that inmate 14823 is trying to tell him, and it was hilarious as hell because he was getting on his fucking nerves. So y'all, watch this clip as 14823 is trying to tell his dude, look here, just listen to me. hear me out. A year ago, I didn't know I was gonna be here. A year ago, I was eating fucking Raymond noodles, listening to a motherfucker tell me count time. So like I'm saying, y'all not getting it. I am grateful to Trump because he turned the key to set me free. I just see you as another human being. Yeah, cause you weird like that. But I want still, you to be listen, just my listen. friend from my heart. Bruh. I don't know if we can hang out no motherfucking way with you looking like that. For real. I don't even see what she's seeing. Yeah, I'm coming after you, girl. It made 14823 is about to go in on his ass. I'm glad he didn't know because that, that old man couldn't take it. Lil D and Big D, they in the kitchen talking or whatever, right? They talking about what happened again with the whole BS that happened from the night before. Now, like I showed y'all in the earlier clip, they're both pissed off at Big Nigga now because they feel like Big Nigga stepped in and disrespected them. They felt like Big Nigga should have stepped out of his way and should not have involved himself in the situation at all. Big Nigga's like, look here, I seen two of my brothers getting ready to fight, so I'm just trying to step in and, you know, de-escalate whatever situation is going on. I'm not trying to disrespect nobody. Lil D is over here on the sideline like a hype man behind his daddy, Big D. Big D is like, look here. My thing, I didn't appreciate, you came and you stepped in the middle, but you should have been over here on the black people side because Cookie Monster and the other inmate over there, this felon who can't even vote, they both over here support, supporting Trump and you over here breaking us up. You supposed to be on our side. You the black dude, you supposed to be on our side. Big nigga like, look here. It ain't about being on nobody's side. I just seen two men, two black men getting ready to fight. So I just stepped in to stop it. It ain't about nobody being right or right, none of that. I'm just trying to stop two people fighting. Now, at the same time, like I said, Big D not trying to hear nothing big nigga trying to say. Big nigga is, he one of them big John Coffee gentle giant type dudes. He like, look here, I promote peace. 
I ain't about violence, none of that. I'm a security guard in my regular life, so I try to stop anything that goes on. You know, I protect the perimeter. I secure the shit. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want no violence and no shit like that going down. That's what he's trying to get them to understand. But once again, you got Big D. <laughs> he's a, it, it, I think he's like West Indian or Caribbean. So he's he's a very stern man, stuck in his ways. Like I said, you got his son, Lil D, in the back, like a hype man, yeah, yeah, uh, come on, uh, hyping up his damn daddy so his daddy can get even more pissed off because they pissed off now. They want to go get um MA14823 and Cookie Monster. But big niggas like, look here, this is my whole thing. Y'all both disrespected each other. He owes you some respect just like you owe him some respect. Y'all need to apologize to each other. Y'all need to chop it up and y'all need to move on from that shit. But... What now what I'm trying to hear? That goddamn uh, Lil D, he was getting on my nerves. He need his little ass whooped. He remind me of one of them little boys. You steady tell his ass to stop and he don't listen. He don't listen. He don't listen. He don't listen. So finally you whoop his little ass. And after you don't whoop his little ass, now he want to cry and act a fool and act a fit. And want you to feel sorry for him because he didn't listen and you had to whoop his ass. That's your fault. You didn't listen. That's what Lil D need. He need to spank it. It's time for this whack ass spelling bee that they have. <laughs> First up, it was Popeye, and I'm just going to show y'all a clip of, because, girl, Tonio was high, and she had a little bit to drink before she did that little spelling bee. So check out this clip. She called herself trying to check somebody on their damn spelling, but she don't even know what the hell you got damn spelling, girl. N-I-C-A-T-I-O-N. You're wrong. You so goddamn dumb, boy. If you can't spell it, you can't do it over here with me. Hold on, wait, guys, hold on. Denise is saying he's telling you right. I, the first time was right, I know. It's F-O-R-N. He never put the F in it at all. He started with F. I started with F. He said, mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Yeah, we'll see. The first time he spelled it was right, but I thought... Yeah, you're going to give a spelling bee, and you can't even spell the word right. Ooh. trying to check these niggas on they spelling and I spelled this shit wrong my damn self. That's on me. I gave her a little Hennessy. Why she had to save her ass on that? Because she was <laughs> wrong as hell. You can't check somebody on some shit when you can't even spell what the hell you trying to spell any goddamn way, girl, bye. Next up, we got Rummy Rome. The Rome's in the house. I said Rummy Rome's in the house. Watch your mouth. Hey, y'all. Poor little Ting Ting, Romy Rome. Y'all check out this clip of Romy Rome. What's my daughter's name spelling? B L C. B L what? B L C. Wrong as shit. B L C. No. You blue clap. No, 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 no. Because you it's like, the I know it's not, I know it's not B L C. B L A. I feel kind of bad. I feel like, whoa. Like, how much of an idiot can you be? Okay. Give me China. Okay. We got black. Chi okay, China. C H Y N. Uh-uh. Are you sure? Damn. Wrong wrong talk so fucking much. I think he know how to spell. Give it to me in the sentence. Give me China's name. And it better be nasty. She, uh, Black like China, come see your new daddy. Yeah. Cool. A little bit too far. That nigga must have been in the back sipping on some of that Irk and Jerk. Or something, because he, <laughs> bless his heart. He remind me of some of my uncles. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> Y'all, next up, we got big nigga. She told this fool, spell big nigga. He going to spell it B-I-G-N-I-G-G-E-R. What's messed up, what I thought was really messed up, but she had to call good credit up to come and correct the shit. Big goddamn big nigga was looking dumb afterwards. Like, dog, your name is Big Nigga, not Big Nigger. It was just dumb, y'all. It was so silly. It was very, very, very silly. Zeus, is this what we've come to, Zeus? Really? You know, y'all know Jocelyn got a show coming out too on Zeus. Jocelyn's Cabaret. Yes, uh huh. 
I'm gonna review the first episode just because I like Jocelyn. Jocelyn Hernandez, baby. <laughs> I love Jocelyn. Y'all, so next, later on, it was the eliminations. She ended up getting rid of Lil D because he was a little asshole anyway. He didn't go home. He need to go home and do some homework. Suck his mom's titty or something. He just got on my damn nerves. He got on my damn nerves. And then um, she got rid of... Who else did she get rid of? She got rid of Cotton. But somebody told me that Cotton and Mr. Salsa, they married in real life. I believe that because they kind of had on matching outfits. And I thought something was kind of off with that. I was like, oh... But okay, though, you know, get it how you live. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But y'all, that was the episode. It was not a lot that went on with this episode um, last night, y'all. Just a little whack-ass spelling bee or whatever that they have. But like always, Tonio delivers, baby. Tonio is hilarious to me. If any of y'all watched the episode and it was something that I missed, y'all already know. Drop it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And Auntie Mo, we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala.